What's up guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're talking Marvel Spider-Man 2. Maybe I shouldn't be so hyped because honestly, this is actually kind of a bummer, a bit of a somber cloud over Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Even though it does look like it is gonna be a spectacular game, but we've got some bad news to discuss. Before we get to that, of course, technically speaking, I guess if you believe in the old saying of no news is good news, maybe you won't be quite as disappointed. But before we dive into the details of what we found out for Marvel Spider-Man 2, I wanna go on ahead and mention just quickly, if you can, please hit the thumbs up button. Huge special shout out to our members of the channel. Link is down in the description if you'd like to become a member. Thank you for supporting the channel. You can also go on ahead and grab some merch. Link for that is down in the description as well. Now, what are we actually talking about here today? Well, first and foremost, uh, Sony did go on ahead and drop a very exciting piece of uh, detail. And we found out that we are getting a state of play tomorrow, which I'll actually be doing a live watch party for. So if you guys are here, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. 5 p.m. EST, we're gonna be checking out what Sony has in store for the rest of this year. And maybe even a little bit beyond that. Now, of course, if you're a big Sony fan like myself, the one game or one of the games that you're most excited for besides God of War Ragnarok is Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And I was really hopeful that we would start to hear a little bit more details for this game considering that it is slated to be released in 2023. Well, unfortunately, this person right here, Tom Henderson, has said that we're actually not going to be getting any news for Marvel's Spider-Man or Marvel's Wolverine game until the second half and most likely early 2023, which is insane, dude. I honestly was hoping that we would start to get some more teasers for this game throughout this year, but it looks like we're probably gonna have to hold tight until either the very end of this year or early 2023 to actually hear anything from Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Can you go on ahead and wait, or would you love to see a something else showcase for this game? Let me know down in the comment section below. I guess the one case that you could make for this game is the fact that they did go on ahead and drop so much already. We saw so much in that first trailer, so it's already got a great first impression. And of course, we've got two games to go off of, so we know that these guys know how to make excellent Spidey games over there at Insomnia Games. But... I also wanted to go on ahead and give a shout out to Okami here who did go on ahead and spot something pretty freaking cool for possibly tomorrow's state of play. As he found that Sly Cooper, the actual Sly Cooper website was updated just 24 hours ago, implying that maybe something will be dropping at the state of play. This is one of the franchises that I played so much as a kid and I would love to see either a remaster or even a brand new game for Sly Cooper would be absolutely phenomenal. So if we end up getting that at tomorrow's event, I would be absolutely stoked. And with all that in mind, I hope to see you guys here tomorrow to watch the PlayStation State of Play event. Hopefully we still get some really, really exciting reveals. Again, if that teaser of Sly Cooper drops, I would be so, so stoked for that. That would be tremendous. That means the PlayStation 5 will get a brand new Ratchet & Clank game and a brand new Sly Cooper game. Now we only just need Jack and Daxter and we'll have a stellar, stellar lineup of action platformer games to enjoy. Once again, guys, don't forget to let me know your thoughts about Marvel's Spider-Man 2 not receiving any more updates until the latter half of this year and most likely actually in the early half of 2023. Hopefully it still manages to be released in 2023. I'm very, very, very hopeful for that. That way we have that awesome Spidey experience to look forward to just a year away or so. And then of course, in addition to that guys, once again, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up button. I think that Sony most likely will be shifting all their marketing dollars and attention towards continuing to promote Horizon Forbidden West, which by the way is an excellent game and probably God of War Ragnarok. And it kind of has me very hopeful that God of War Ragnarok actually lands this year without any further delays. That would be awesome because that would give us Horizon at the start of the year, God of War at the wrap up of the year. And then of course, right as God of War is launching, hopefully we'll start to get some trickle information and news for Marvel's Spider-Man 2, where we will see Miles, Parker, and of course, Eddie Brock or I guess necessarily we don't know that it's Eddie Brock, but we're definitely going to get Venom. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will hopefully catch you all here next time. Peace out. See you later.
alligators. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>